Hi, welcome. Today we'll talk about rendering and the difference between a CPU render versus a GPU render, how they perform, and many people have uh, still confusion about what kind of uh, system resources a renderer uses and how they render. So today we'll uh, uh, clear uh, some of those ideas on uh, rendering. Okay. So traditionally, all the renders that we are, we were using was CPU-based renders. So the GPU that is a graphic card is only used for viewport performance and uh, for some simulations and now the things have changed with new NVIDIA's parallel processing technology and highly capable GPUs which can really help render or really fast in renders so now we started to hear a lot of rendering engines which can do um, uh, which can take the advantage of GPUs and render faster so the traditional renders that you have you worked all the day all these days were like Mental Ray, V-Ray, MySoftware, Brazil, or Maxwell, all were CPU renders. But now most of them have their uh, GPU rendering versions. And the V-Ray RT, the I-Ray, V-Ray RT is an extension for V-Ray that uh, does um, uh, hub GPU rendering. And I-Ray is from uh, Mental Images, that's also a GPU rendering. And this Octane, Arion, all are GPU renders. So uh, what's the difference between these two? In traditionally when we were uh, rendering uh, we were not using our GPUs the entire workload was going to our processes and the rendering was completely done in the processes and we haven't used the uh, GPU uh, processor or a GPU RAM for rendering we were completely using the system RAM and system processor to do the entire rendering and that that is what CPU rendering so the render will be fast depending on the number of cores that you have in your processor. Uh, but recently uh, the new renders have come out from 2009 um, so which can use GPU for rendering. So it's uh, it started from the NVIDIA's new technology or new parallel processing technology called CUDA. So what does this CUDA is? CUDA is number of micro cores uh, that is built in these processes. So which can basically um, split this task. Uh, normally the, our CPUs have four or maybe more than that, like eight or 12 bigger cores. But these uh, GPU, the new GPU, CUDA, CUDA enabled GPUs have uh, many microprocessors. It can vary from 100 to two or 3,000 microprocessors, which can effectively compute faster than our CPUs that's how that's uh, that's why the revolution of gpu renders have come and this can render fast and this can render with multiple gpus splitting our task into uh, smaller smaller divisions and each processor can independently calculate now we'll try to understand how exactly these gpu renders works so what you need what kind of a system you need for using a gpu rendering obviously you need you need a good GPU or you need multiple you can take advantage of multiple GPUs so uh, the GPU rendering works according to the number of CUDA cores or number of processors that you have in the GPU so what you can try to have is you can try to have multiple I think you can really understand from this YouTube video that you can have multiple GPUs stacked onto your computer so these GPUs uh, men, uh, is not they, do, they are not required to be connected means they do not be bridged or slide together you can have uh, them to be stay independent because it's not it's not like a gaming environment you don't need them to be bridged slide or cross fired so this this can be independent GPUs and can work really uh, it, it can our renders can use like if you come to my IRA settings here there will be an option that you can choose the number of I have only one co code of 4000 if I have multiple GPU uh, GPUs here I can select all of them for the renders so renders can be really faster so these GPUs renders can take advantages of multiple graphic cards and effectively it is cheaper than having multiple processors uh, because you these uh, many of many of the NVIDIA's cheaper graphic card can uh, perform faster and uh, or like GeForce CDs graphic cards you can use it for the rendering and it can be really faster with uh, a very uh, low pricing comparing comparatively you buying a uh, buying a render a render slot or a CPU render which is which is costly. So you just 
can stack multiple so here this video uh, they have stacked four into GTX 680 uh, any GTX CDs cards can be stacked this way and they are not uh, how many of a PC Express cards you have you can um, add graphic cards to that and you can make it really fast and uh, especially for the Nvidia iRay that's great that's a uh, mental images Nvidia iRay that can even take advantage of it it's a CPU plus GPU render it can use your CPU and GPU together while rendering so it's really fast and it's 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 really good because you you are doing render both with CPUs and GPUs together I think VRT is not capable of doing this VRT you have a choice of either you can ch select the CPU or the GPU but in NVIDIA's IRA, which I like the most or I use the most, which can uh, take advantage of both your CPU and GPU, so it can render really faster uh, using the uh, using the capability of both mm, both your pro CPU plus the GPU. And if you have uh, multiple GPUs, even that it can use simultaneously. So, uh, what all things that we have to consider when we are using a GPU renderer to uh, uh, to a production setup? So one thing is that uh, you make sure that your GPU RAM is enough to copy the entire scene. Means that uh, if you have a 2 GB uh, a GPU, that is your GPU RAM is 2 GB and you have a scene that is of uh, 3 GB, obviously it cannot render. Uh, a GPU render can only render your scene once the render once is uh, once the scene is copied to a GPU RAM. Here we are not using the CPU RAM or the system RAM. Here we are using the GPU RAM. So it is uh, if you are using on a production setup and you are having very huge scenes, it is difficult to handle because most of the GPUs, entry level GPUs that we get, the maximum number, maximum amount of RAM we get is 3 GB, and some of our scenes are quite huge and cannot handle. So the preferred uh, preferred graphic card, preferred card or preferred GPU for uh, a production setup is that you should have one Quadro preferably a Codro 6000 and one or two Tesla cards uh, so uh, the Tesla is only for computation so it can compute really faster uh, so a Codro is for your viewport performance your simulation your viewport performance and this will be a primary RAM and Codro 6000 is I think available up to 6 GB version so it can it can handle most of the scenes and this will be our primary card and these two cards will help us to do uh, do computation faster so for a prefer for a production workflow at least the, the these cards should be there but uh, f for normal works I think you can stack multiple uh, GTX that is G4 series machines but uh, there is a problem with that one is heat and second is that uh, it these uh, GTX or gaming cards are not available with higher RAM options I think the maximum amount of RAM that you get in a GTX series is 3 GB uh, sometimes it is not enough for the cases you cannot um, add up the rams of multiple gpus you can only use the ram of your primary gpu so that is a disadvantage as of now i think maybe later it will be solved so you cannot add up the rams of the gpu so you can only use the ram of one of your gpu so um, it is effectively smaller most of the cases i think only this Codro series comes with the higher ram options i think that's it for today Thank you.